I went to Hoylake on the tip of the Wirral to meet Bill Housley. Before we told him what we'd found in his DNA, I wanted to know whether there was anything about his family history that might suggest a Viking connection. Bill, how long have your family lived in this area? My family, looking back at family records, go back about 150 years, which is quite a long time. That's, that's not bad, is it? No, not what? at all. But do you think your family might go back even further than that in this area? Yes, I would think so. I should imagine. Yes, we probably do go further back than that. Housley men have been seafarers for several generations. His father was a fisherman and his father before him. His great uncle Stephen was a member of the local lifeboat crew in the 1920s. And the connection with the sea still continues today. I was never a full time fisherman. Main reason for that because by the time I'd reached an age uh, whereby I was able to use or work a boat, fishing was on decline. I'd come out of the army after completing my national service and suddenly looked at the industry and thought, no, I could do a little bit better than this. So they're selling fish then. So I've been involved in the industry now for 36 years. On the very shore where the Housleys have moored their boats for generations, archaeologists have uncovered evidence of a flourishing Viking beach market. Over the years, hundreds of pieces of jewellery have been found, lost by Viking traders and trampled into the soft sand. Could Bill and his family be the modern day descendants of a Viking who came and settled on the Wirral a thousand years ago. It was time to tell Bill that we'd found a distant relative of his amongst our Norwegian samples. So David, uh, could you tell us the result of Bill's test? Well, we just looked through all the Y chromosomes that we observed in the Wirral and compared them to Norwegian ones and looked for matches. And we actually found a perfect match between your Y chromosome and Y chromosomes that we observed in Norway. Now, I have to say that we can't be certain from that that your Y chromosome actually came from Norway. But if we had to take a guess, our guess would be that it's a Norwegian origin. So there we are, Bill. You seem to be one of the few people who we can point to and say that you're probably of Viking ancestry. Yeah, I'm absolutely delighted. I just can't get over this. So how do you feel about this, Marilyn? Your, your it husband... explains a lot. Does it? <laughs> oh, dear. He doesn't, he, doesn't show, he doesn't show sort of evidence of Viking behaviour, does he, at times? Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> right. You may not be able to blame that on his Y chromosome. <laughs> do you think it's going to make any difference to your life? I don't suppose so, really. I mean, it's nice and nice thought and feeling to know that uh, there is a strong possibility I am descended from the Vikings of Norway and uh, you know that's something that uh, I'm just delighted with. Anyway thank you very much for coming. And thank you for having me. It's been most most very interesting. Thank you. Bill's ancestors, the Norwegian Vikings, mainly colonised the north.